Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary with another fan TV. Back at you another video. With the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. So today we're gonna talk about the Ravens just released their first uh depth chart of the offseason. We're gonna see who's ranked where and what, what can we make of that, right? So starting with the running backs, um JK Dobbins is listed as the top running back. Uh, but they have a star next to his name because he's on the pup list. Same with Gus Edwards as the number two running back. So really, the top guy at running back right now is looking like Mike Davis, which shouldn't be a surprise. He's a veteran, uh, known presence in the backfield, and somebody that the Ravens know that they, that they, they can trust to at least open up the season if J.K. cannot make it. Now, um, what's interesting, behind Mike Davis they have listed is uh, Justice Hill. And Justice Hill has had a pretty good camp, apparently. And he's a good change of pace back, right? So Justice Hill can, honestly, I didn't, I didn't have high hopes for him making this team, but he possibly could, you know. if um, Say if Gus needs some time on IR, the Ravens are going to need a running back. Got Justice Hill could be one of those guys. Okay. Um, Devin Duvernay is listed as the, the second wide receiver on the depth chart. And that's not surprising. When Devin Duvernay was healthy in the beginning of this uh, training camp period, he was kind of getting that outside reps, and Proche was kind of in the slot. With Devin Duvernay went down, Proche has been kind of all over the place as far as outside, inside, and he's been making plays at both spots. Now, Duvernay, when he gets back, um, I think he's obviously wide receiver too, but I want to say this, Ravens fans, let's not get caught up in the labels, right? Bateman, Proche, Duvernay will all rotate around. They will all play all three spots, I think. I would love to see Greg, Greg Roman can get creative and actually put Bateman in the slot at times and actually allow him to get those kind of matchups as well. So the top three guys is what's important. It's going to be Bateman, Duvernay, Proche, and, and some kind of lineup on the field, okay? Um, le starting left tackle, they got Ronnie Stanley, but the same thing as J.K., he's not officially back. So... Um, the real start and left tackle for right now, uh, Jawan James. Now, Jawan James is going from right to left tackle, which he said is a little bit of a transition. So we'll see how he can do. Um, I'm interested to see how much the Ravens play these guys in the first preseason game next week. And uh, we'll see who comes back in, uh, in between and see that uh, if that could change the depth chart scene. Um, ben Powers is the start and left guard. Now, that was something that the Ravens coaches said uh, I believe it was Greg Roman said that, you know, he, he's out in front right now. John Harbaugh agreed with that sentiment. And Tyree Phillips is the backup. So we'll see if Ben Powers is really the starting left guard or they're popping it up to possibly trade him. Or, you know, has he has he won that job for the, for the time being? And now he has to continue to build on strong performances. And maybe he's a starting left guard. Because uh, honestly, when we came into this training camp period, he was a guy that I thought was clearly third, you know. Um... Cleveland, Tyree Phillips were going to battle it out, and Ben Cleveland was just kind of, I mean, sorry, and Ben Powers was just kind of back there. But Ben Powers has made enough of an impression to where he's up there right now. We'll see if that sticks, okay? Um, Michael Pierce starting nose tackle. Uh, this is something that I, I highlighted because Michael Pierce is obviously a veteran, and the guy behind him is Travis Jones. I wouldn't be surprised that at some point during the season, Travis Jones is starting that position because he's having a really strong camp. And he's be one of those guys you just cannot keep off the field. Uh, let's see. Middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is a position where I talked about the Ravens had not enough people. You know what I'm saying? So Patrick Queen, uh, Josh Bonds, Malik Harrison, Christian Welch. Now on this depth chart, um, Josh Bonds is a starting middle linebacker and Christian Welch is his backup. We'll see if the Ravens go into the season like that. Um, I just feel like they're really thin at middle linebacker, and they could use another guy, maybe some guys with another, with some more experience. But Welch has been here a couple years. He's been a special teams guy, so maybe they trust him to get on the field and see what he can do, okay? Uh, Tyus Bowser is another guy that's listed as the uh, a starter, even though he's uh, he's hurt right at the time being. Uh, he's listed as a starter, Sam Linebacker. So he was listed as a starter. Then... Ironically enough, Vince Beagle was listed as his backup, and Dalen Hayes is listed as a, as a third string in that position. That just goes to show that Vince Beagle was having a really strong training camp, but obviously he tore his Achilles last week. 
And now, so Dalen Hayes goes from that third all the way up to the starting spot. And he's going to hold that spot to at least the first four to six weeks of the season to see where Tyus Bowser could come back. Um, so Dalen Hayes had a really, really impressive mini camp OTA period. I haven't heard his name as much during training camp, but that doesn't mean he's doing bad. It just could be he's being overshadowed by other guys. Um, preseason is going to be important for him because he's going to get an opportunity to get out there and play and um, really put that good tape on the field and, you know, get noticed, you know, hopefully. Uh, because, look, Ravens' outside linebacker position is undoubtedly, I think, the, the, the lightest at the moment, okay? You got Odafe, you got Justin Houston, you got Dalen Hayes, and after that, we're kind of hoping for somebody else, okay? Uh, when Vince Beagle went down, that hurt. Um, so maybe like a guy like Jeremiah Moon, undrafted free agent, uh, can make a can make the team. Maybe a guy like um, Stephen Means. Maybe uh, I'm hoping they sign Jason Pierre-Paul. That's what I'm hoping for. But I know the Ravens and signing players, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But I think they need to bring a veteran in house just because that first keep talking about that first four to six weeks of the season. Because with Ojabo and Bowser out um, because they both of their Achilles injuries, the Ravens are going to need somebody. Else. They're going to need more than three guys to be able to rush the pass on the outside. All right. Um, Marcus Peters got him as starting starting cornerback. Obviously, also also on the pup list. So behind Marcus uh, Peters, they have Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens has a really impressive camp. He's also hurt at the moment as well. So hopefully, his issue is just minor. Um, but it show goes to show that Brandon Stevens is putting good work out there on the field, and that you know the Ravens trust him to play corner. Um, from what I've been saying in the practices and what I've been hearing, his press coverage is looking really well really really good if he gets his hands on you he can pressure down the scrimmage and you're not going very far so brandon stevens um if he happened to start the Ravens outside corner to start the season because peters needs a little bit of time i wouldn't be too worried or afraid about that all right now chuck clark is listed as the starting uh strong safety and kyle hamilton is actually listed as the backup free safety now this is it's interesting, but it's also not a surprise because I think Kyle Hamilton is going to play more of a strong safety kind of role more than anything. But the Ravens are going to play a lot of three safety looks. So having him listed as a backup is not really true to what he's going to be for the team. It's just what he's listed as on the depth chart. So with Kyle Hamilton, Marcus Williams, uh, Chuck Clark all on the field, there's going to be a rotation of those guys. You're going to see uh, Tony Jefferson get in. You're going to see Geno Stone get in. So... Who really starts? I'm not going to say it's not the most important thing. I expect Marcus Williams to play a lot of the snaps and Kyle Hamilton to play a lot of the snaps and Chuck Clark to kind of rotate with uh, Tony Jefferson. And maybe if, I don't know, somebody needs a blow, then uh, Geno Stone would come in and play as well, right? That's kind of how I see that position going. Uh, let's see. Who else we got here? Now, special teams. Um, they got they have some of those special teams that I really don't agree with. They have... Devin Duvernay still has the kick returner and punt returner. I know all pro doing that. I know pro bowler doing that. I get all that. They're going to ask Devin Duvernay to play a lot of wide receiver this year. He's not a gadget player anymore. He's not going to be going around end around sweeps and jet sweeps all game. He's actually going to be playing wide receiver. Okay. And for me, I don't like my starting wide receiver playing kick return, punt return. I know kickoffs don't really happen as much anymore because you can boom out the back of the end zone because it's shorter now. And punt returns, it is what it is. But I don't like the, the possibility of my starting receiver constantly taking hits, um, playing special teams. Get somebody else back there. I don't know. Get Pepe Williams back there. I saw him catching uh, punts during this, uh, the stadium practice. They also had James Poche catching punts, but also he's another guy. He's going to play a lot of receiver. I don't want him back there. So the Ravens, in my opinion, they need to find somebody else to play kick returner and punt returner on this team because you, I don't want to see my starters doing that. I just don't. So I'm going to drop the uh, the training camp depth chart. Um, it's an article. You can click from the article. You can go and find the depth chart. I'm going to drop that in the comment section and in the description. Uh, let me let me know what you guys think of the first uh, depth chart. Obviously, it will change throughout and will update as, as they uh, the Ravens update. We'll see what happens with that. The Ravens are still going to practice today, and I'm going to have an update on that training camp practice when it happens, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just other fan TV. I'm out.